Hello everybody, welcome to uh, my outdoor Susquehanna plein air painting at the uh, very end of June here. I've done this uh, large um, oil painting all in one session, but this is just the uh, first uh, sitting of, uh, of many. But uh, I like to start these uh, plein air to uh, really capture the essence and it forces me to work quickly and uh, try to block it in very uh, suggestively and uh, get an impression down on the first uh, try the first pass it's called uh, alla prima it means at the first it's an Italian term that uh, applies to this type of painting and uh, I'm doing the uh, the golden hour here as, as you can see it's just past sunset maybe 10 or 15 minutes past sunset and I'm using all warm uh, tones uh, when you first saw me I was doing the final or just some suggestions of the uh, of the light on the clouds and uh, I'll, I will articulate those uh, in much more uh, uh, detail later, but I just wanted to kind of suggest them in. There's going to be a, a neat thing here. Um, uh, the clouds were drifting around and uh, and sometimes I invent them today. I kind of invented them but based on previous uh, experiences of uh, painting them. But there's a neat layer of clouds down here that's going to be fun to do. So we have a, an upper layer that's kind of uh, more close to us. Whoops! <laughs> and a rocky, uh, uneven ground here. Um, but in the series of uh, outdoor uh, painting sessions that I'm bringing to you, I'm uh, part of my mission is to combine the uh, ecological with the uh, uh, artistic and the aesthetic with the environmental. And uh, I'm just drawing attention to the, the beauty of the river. I think you can see it's an incredibly beautiful river here. It's kind of a primordial quality and I often like to think of it uh, as it was in 1600 or the early 1600s when Etienne Brule and his party of uh, Europeans came down here with Indians. They came down together. They were the first uh, Europeans to come through. And uh, it probably looks pretty much like it did back at, then in the 1600s or even uh, 2000 years ago. So it's a, a beautiful um, stretch of river here. And uh, it's inspired many of my paintings uh, over the years, over the past 30 years. I've done uh, many. Uh, paintings on this location on, on the other side of the river. But I'm pointing out this environmental uh, abomination, that's the best word that I can think for it, uh, right uh, across the river from me there's planned, we hope we can stop it, but this 265 acre uh, um, uh, tragedy of this uh, LNG plant going in here. And so this shore that you see over here is just going to be filled with this humongous uh, uh, liquefied natural uh, gas processing plant. And uh, if it goes through, it'll just be a, a real tragedy to the uh, environmental and the aesthetic and uh, the, uh, the safety. One of the safety issues that has come up recently that I've heard of uh, these trains that go out of uh, Wailusing, uh, if it happens, will have over 100 cars and it will have the equivalent of four Hiroshima bombs, if you can believe that. It's just uh, unbelievable that uh, any kind of uh, a safety uh, agencies could uh, condone that. Uh, maybe they don't know about it, but uh, it'll be an incredible uh, 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 tragedy if it happens. So um, I just wanted to share this beautiful stretch of river with you and my painting. It's inspired uh, many paintings here. And um, so I hope you uh, uh, get involved uh, with helping us with this. We have a wonderful new organization called Protect or, yeah, Protect Northern PA. We have a wonderful uh, website. I encourage you to go look at it. It's got a, a load of, uh, of resources and uh, inspirations and all kinds of facts about uh, the beauty of the river here and the, uh, and the LNG. So uh, to end on a up note, uh, just appreciate the beauty here and try to preserve it for future generations. Okay, thanks so much.